All right, Alex, what are we doing? Oh God, uh, we are looking at your tutorial for the checkpoint system, I guess. All right. I haven't seen this, I played another one, but all right. Hi, welcome to the advanced checkpoints tutorial, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna skip. All right, uh, no, seriously, we need to read this. Placing yeah. checkpoints correctly can be a bit tricky if you don't fully understand how they work. So let me show you, press C. Just, oh, oh, ooh, all right. So, uh. Let's go. I assume you already know how the basics work. You can preview this functionality by pressing C. Ah! What'd they do? Yeah, it will show a big gradient texture going yeah. from black to gray to white. Alright. Oh, I should probably explain what that means. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so I just pressed C again. So, what am I looking at? Yeah, so this is a gradient uh, going from black to white. Uh, via green and it shows you basically who is in the lead uh, whenever yeah, so people are like in this the direction going that way right? yeah so if your if your character is in the black look uh, spots then he's behind on whoever is on uh, a white location right so and uh, this means that the level is going in that direction so yeah. I would have to place a checkpoint that goes from here to there yeah all right well let's well see. that's yeah that's already done in this mm -hmm. uh, in this level all right, now this tool will show you how to properly place checkpoints using some examples of interesting situations. All right, yeah. well, this is all pretty obvious. I'm just going to yeah. guys be around. Yeah, you don't have to run. You can just move the camera. I want to and... run. All right, but you're skipping all this text. Ah, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, so... Um... Yeah, we're going to start with a simple example mm -hmm. of uh, two diverging paths. All right, yeah, so this is a uh, diverging path. Right, so uh, if I was, for example, to go over here, yeah. and uh, if I wouldn't add anything, what would happen? So yeah. I could get knocked out by being over here, for example? Yeah, or... if you scroll to the right a little bit, there's some text explaining the situation. Mm -hmm. To the right. Yeah, it says, right. um, the way the checkpoint system works is that uh, each player is projected onto a line, mm -hmm. uh, the line that he's actually closest to. And right. determining who is in the lead is then a matter of seeing who is furthest along that line. Mm -hmm. So in this case, if you scroll a little bit more to the right, uh, it doesn't really matter if a player is on top of the platform mm -hmm. or in the bottom corridor, yeah. because the the goal that they're running towards is to the right, and they'll both be projected onto that same single yeah, so yellow line. So people will be on that same line. And then if it was sudden death and I was like, you know, this close. Then it would probably matter. If, yeah, because uh, the goal. Yeah, you're right. So the goal is to the right, but it's a, it's on the bottom of the right. Yeah. So, so whoever is in the in the bottom is actually in the lead over mm -hmm. whoever is uh, on the same right location as mm -hmm. the one who is on top. Right, and we have like an example of how to deal with diverging paths right here. Right. Yeah. Because I guess typically. Um, you know, if you're playing at this screen size, it wouldn't matter much because, you know, you can just go here. Yeah. But if we're playing on a smaller screen like this, and then someone is over here and someone is over here, it does matter who is closest to a checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah, because those pots are, yeah, they're not really going in the same direction. Yeah. So there's a bit of a difference there, and you need to make two, two pots. Mm -hmm. And this is the correct way to do halves. Uh, in these like zigzag moments? Um, well, there's a better way to do it, but uh, I'll show that in the next example. All right, so then we're going over here. Yeah. So now when, yeah, your question was right, when these, when you have this zigzag situation and these mm -hmm. lines are really close together, then things kind of get complicated. So mm -hmm. if you press C here, uh, you'll get this gradient mm -hmm. and you'll see that this gradient is pretty, pretty ugly. Uh, it's more or less correct, as in mm -hmm. that the top section is really dark mm -hmm. and the bottom section is pretty uh, light. Yeah. So there's definitely a difference between being on top and at the bottom, but there's all these yeah, there weird blotches and, and artifacts and yeah, it's, it's looking a bit uh, ugly. Mm -hmm. And you can see here, if you look on the right, it says the reason that this is happening is because the player is always looking at which line he's closest to. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, in the zigzag formation, uh, the closest line is not always the correct line you want to be uh, looking at. Right. So, do you want to fix this somehow right now? or? Uh, yeah, you can go on to the next example. All right. And here, uh, I've placed a couple of extra checkpoints. Ooh. All right, this uh, is getting a bit complicated. Yeah, so if you, press, yeah, if you press C again, you'll see that this is a way nicer gradient. Uh -huh. um, and I've placed some extra checkpoints. Uh, for instance, the one that's going from checkpoint 29 to checkpoint 20, which is yeah, the so. checkpoint over there to the one on the right. Uh -huh. um, 
that's an extra line to make sure that uh, that line is the closest line to the player whenever he is in that corridor. Right, so I have a question here, like straight yeah. off the bat. So uh, it used to be that I used to have these thick lines over here, but now I see these uh, like uh, less thinner yeah, lines. Thinner yeah. lines. So uh, this one over here, can you explain what this line does? Because you know, I was under the impression that you have to connect each one to everyone, but no, it seems like I yeah. can just divert them and connect yeah, them. Yeah, the individual. thicker lines, they're like part of the main loop. Right, so this is the main loop, and then these yeah. are like adjusted. Part. Yeah, they're like helper mm -hmm. lines. So I, what I does this one them. do? In, uh, this yeah, so that exam. one uh, from checkpoint 30 to checkpoint... So yeah, that's checkpoint, checkpoint 30, 30, then checkpoint 18. 18. Or is it? Yeah, it's 18, I think. Yeah, it is 18. Um, the checkpoint numbers actually don't mean a thing. They're just used to identify. Mm -hmm. uh, that line uh, helps to make sure that whenever a player is like standing over here, yeah. he is actually projected onto that line instead of maybe this line over here, which would be uh, the bad thing to do because he's looking at that checkpoint and not at that checkpoint. Right. So that's where that line is for. Um, and that's also where the line... Uh, from 19, uh, 29, and 24, uh, all those other uh, thin lines are for to to really right, help. So uh, I'm just curious, what would happen if I delete this one or somehow move it? Yeah, just so we have like yeah, an and then you can proceed uh -huh. again. Right. Yeah, for that one it doesn't. So this really is really the most proper. Well. Yeah. Yeah, this would be like the most proper way to do it. Yeah, actually the. The best way to do it is if you scroll down a little bit, mm -hmm. you'll see that there's like a little artifact over here where there's like uh -huh. a dark spot. All right, how can we fix this? So yeah. uh, this artifact would actually mean that if someone gets knocked out over here, it would not be tracked properly. Yeah, if, if like for instance, one person is standing over here yeah. and the other one is jumping in the air over mm -hmm. here, then this and guy is behind that guy. Right, and this which is, is not something yeah, we want. That's not what you want to have. So if you look down to the right a little bit, you'll see uh, uh, the way I fixed it is by placing like a whole bunch of other mm. uh, checkpoints, which is, it's a bit cumbersome, but uh, it's yeah, not all so that I difficult. Guess if I do this, that, yeah. yeah, so all the, yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's kind of fixed. And uh, I guess you gotta place all of these over here so that yeah. I get the assigned to this line and then I'm in the front. Yeah. So if we were to fix this one, how would you go about it? Yeah, you can just place a new checkpoint just in the air up here. Uh, uh, just perfect. just by left clicking and then alt clicking uh, to draw a line uh, to checkpoint 21. Oh, yeah. This is pretty yeah. easy. And, and you can left click hold and then move it around and then you'll see that there that the artifact is a little uh, less yeah, and then you can right. place and another then one place another one and then L drag hey yeah. this is and then proceed to preview this is and you'll easy. see that it uh, that it's fixed a little bit yeah hey this is how you design speed installs yeah it's not all that difficult so yeah that but this is if you're into the in in, in working in the zigzag mm -hmm. area then it's a bit cumbersome but if you go to the left uh, to the final example uh, you'll see that this is like a big open area, yeah. and here again the goal is just to go up, yeah. uh, up to the right. So basically, all you need is one line. There's no need to put all these extra checkpoints there. Um, yeah, so, so that's the uh, simplest one because the more up you are, right. So the main thing to look, watch out for is the zigzags. Yeah, yeah, zigzags or any uh, sections that have two like really divergent mm -hmm. paths. That's a bit difficult. Um, but yeah. yeah, this tutorial should explain you the, the the main basics and get you an introduction to the system behind the, the yeah. checkpoints. And, the and I guess one of the points that we have to mention here is that the uh, thick line needs to be connected in a like in a, in loop. a loop around yeah. the map, right? Yeah. So first, you want to you know make a little thick line around the level, and then you and then you start cleaning it up and improving yeah. all these. And then uh, you, you know, you can just press C everywhere to yeah. make sure that there are no gray spots where there shouldn't be. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hope that this uh, little video helps a lot of people. Yeah. yeah see, so. I mean, then you can see the difference between a section like this uh, or a section like this, mm -hmm. which is also still pretty ugly, yeah. um, and the section that's already cleaned up. All right. Cool. Well, let's see if this helps. All right, that's it for the checkpoint tutorial. Yay! Alex out. <laughs>